Hello and servus, welcome to Graz. Uh, my name is David and I'd like to show you my hometown uh, today. Graz is the second biggest city in Austria. It's located in the southeast and it's really, really close to my heart. So I'm, I was born here, I've lived abroad uh, several times already, but I always like to come back here to my hometown, Graz. Right now we are here in the heart of the city, it's the Schlossberg, the castle mountain. And the number one symbol of our city is also up here, it's the clock tower, the Urtaum. And yeah, there are a lot of legends around it and it has been watching us and surveying us, guarding us for almost 800 years now. Graz has a beautiful, huge old town, one of the biggest ones in Europe. It's a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site. And in between you can find about 50 courtyards, smaller ones, bigger ones, from all different architectural epochs. A lot of these courtyards need to be discovered, so you have to be certainly curious and nosy in Graz. This is certainly one of the highlights of the old town of Graz. It's a double spiral staircase of the former imperial palace and it's unique worldwide of this kind. And it's a masterpiece of stone masonry of the Gothic times. And as you can see, there are no pillars anymore. So the whole construction holds itself. Graz certainly has a very Mediterranean influence. There's a lot of life going on out on the street, a lot of cafes, uh, street life on terraces. We have 60,000 students in Graz, about eight universities and high schools here. So that certainly has a big impact on the city life. We have a lot of festivals here, electronical music, jazz music. The Austrian Film Festival takes place here and yeah, you certainly never get bored here in Graz. Well, we are now at a very typical thing in Graz, it's a sausage stand. Yeah, there are plenty in the old town and it's a social thing also. Lawyers come here, construction side workers come here, young people, old people. And this is my favorite one, it's called Käse Kreiner. Käse is like cheese. And as you can see here, it's filled with cheese and it's delicious. Mahlzeit. 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 <laughs> So we've seen uh, quite some parts of the old town now, but Graz is also known for the contemporary architecture and design. And the very young creative scene is on the other side of the river, in the land quarter. And uh, a symbol combining these two parts of Graz is the Moor Insel here. So we are going to cross the river here now. Uh, since a couple of years, Graz is one of the few UNESCO cities of design worldwide. And one very good example for that is the Kunsthaus here. It's a contemporary um, art museum for changing exhibitions and we also call it the Friendly Alien. So it looks pretty weird, but it doesn't harm the old town around it. So here we are now in the Land Quarter and this very hipster neighborhood of Graz. So there are a lot of independent labels here, designer shops, art galleries and so on. Young people try uh, out different things here, open their own shop. You can certainly feel there's a different atmosphere in this area that makes it so unique. So one of my uh, most favorite shops here in this neighborhood in Lend is Tagwerk. It's a very nice and special bag shop. My name is Beatrix Lobber and I'm the Tagwerk manager. <laughs> well, on the one hand we have really good quality, handmade design, but behind it is a social project, a youth employment project, and they learn how to build something with their own hands and that really strengthens them a lot. So here, on each bag, you can see who designed it and who really made the whole bag. So, um, since 2008, Graz is the culinary capital of Austria. And you can here see why, because we have a lot of farmers markets here in the city. What you can see here are all local farmers, they're all from Graz. We have 800 farmers in the city that come here and sell their products directly to the clients. There's no one in between. So it's really fresh vegetables, fruits, sausages, fish, cheese, everything you can have. It's not only the market, but it's also a, a meeting point for people. 
I've uh, shown you now a bit of Graz, but also the surroundings are beautiful. Like for example here the south of Styria, which is known for the wine. And the best place to experience the Styrian wine culture is at Buschenschein. This one is run by the family Kugel for generations already. They have their own um, winery here. And the Buschenschank basically is a place where they sell their homemade food, homemade spreads, and of course, most importantly, homemade wine. I'm now sitting here with Tamara Kugel, the youngest generation here. We are a traditional winery. I'm running it for nearly 10 years now. We are working organic and we make about 10 hectares of wine on these uh, nice steep slopes. Here we have a single vineyard wine of 2013 and I give you also a single vineyard wine of 2011 so you can compare the different uh, vintages. We are very proud that uh, Sauvignon Blanc uh, of Styria gets really nice positions mm -hmm. worldwide competition. <laughs> I love my job. <laughs> are you ready for some typical f Syrian food? Oh yes, sure. I'd love to have some Brettlhausen right now. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, these are my friends here. We're gonna go for some drinks now down at the city beach. I hope you enjoyed our day. Hope you come back and yeah, let's go for some drinks now, I'd say. See you around, bye. <laughs>